So you were just about to tell me about the special version of Scratch. Yes, and uh, next time they do the special version of Scratch uh, that uh, can control robots. We add some new blocks to, for this and uh, that also can control uh, laboratory. We, we, with this name is Scratch Doing a Lab and this is Scratch Doing a Robo Kit. And uh, this is uh, the, the Scratch uh, program uh, for controlling robot. Uh, and uh, we made uh, uh, standalone versions for uh, Android platform, for Windows, uh, Mac OS, and for Linux. Are these motion blocks? So you've we, added custom yes. motion blocks for yes. the robot. They're not under more blocks. Yes, we have. Uh, uh, new custom blocks for motion and for sensors. And it communicates via Bluetooth? It communicates all via Bluetooth. If we're talking about tablet PC, or you can communicate via USB cable. Ah. So we have two options here. Oh, yeah. You can choose which you like. And can you, um, can you communicate simultaneously with more than one robot? Yes, and you can communicate with uh, laboratory and the robot in the same time. At the same time. So you can use this is as game controller for the robot. Oh, cool. And you also can use these sensors too for programming different uh, uh, behavior. And our project um, is totally open source. And uh, we want kids to start programming. At first steps are programming on Scratch. Next step is programming on R the block solution and next step is programming on C. Ah. And during this process we also teach kids how to do these robots and we do some Olympic games for the students yeah. and we believe that it can stop education process if a kid is able to go to the shop, to the store, buy his spare parts, then solder his own board, then make his own uh, boxes by laser cutting in Fab Lab or by 3D printer. So this is 3D printed solution, for example. Mm -hmm. Or it can have some combination, like on top. And for example, this is uh, reassembled uh, system for um, some contents, uh, some robotic contents. Then you need to go to the difficult road and to take uh, bottles and to move it to the special places. Uh -huh. And this is one week project for some school kids on the kid, kids' uh, summer camp. Cool. Uh, A one week long dedicated summer camp where yes. they go all day? It was one week dedicated summer camp. I, I work for a company in New York that does one week summer camps all over the US yes. and I wrote the scratch curriculum for them okay. and am working on their robotics so I may have a big customer for you very soon. Oh very nice. Yeah. Yeah, wait till yeah. For this. Um do you have an idea about a US currency price range yes. for these uh, products? For now the US currency price is uh, $300. Mm -hmm. uh, they think it's quite expensive, but uh, the meaning of this price is because uh, we do small batches of this. So sure. Now we do about 100 pieces in one batch in the factory. Mm -hmm. If we will do, for example, 10,000 pieces, it will be much more cheaper. Does that? Do they all come disassembled, or they are they assembled? assembled? They're assembled. Have you considered selling them as kits that yes, aren't assembled? Uh, we're thinking about making these as kits and to make some maker tones. So yeah. you can make hackathon, it's, uh, the product is software, and you can make mark maker tone, and oh. the product is hardware, so like uh, mm -hmm. this robot and like this 3D printer. So this is also our project, this is a uh, 3D printer with self assembled kit. And this price is about four hundred dollars. Uh, so you can print some spare parts for the robot. And uh, this is very good for understanding the basics of robotics because this is also robot. 
-hmm. and uh, we uh, go to the Google several years ago to the program uh, that uh, make uh, um, grants for educational products and mm -hmm. twice we got very famous award from Google it's Google Rice Award yeah and the rice is roots in science and engineering mm -hmm. so first times it was about 800 um, application forms and mm -hmm. it was about uh, 30 winners oh, wow. and next time it was about 1200 application forms and 40 winners ah. so since that our project is uh, good yeah yeah <laughs> And last year they won the award of Finnish government, it's named Finland. So they invited us to go worldwide and to translate all the things to English language and to Finnish language. And now we make some approbation in Finnish schools. So Finnish teachers and Finnish kids do the projects on this. And we opened office in Helsinki. Have you, have you met Linda Lucas? Uh, Do you know Linda no, Lucas? We know Linda Lucas, Hello, but Ruby. not me. But, oh, uh, she's a friend. I'm going to connect you. Our um, Finland guys uh, yeah. told me about her. She's and incredible. Our guys. Yeah. She's, and she loves Scratch. Uh, we met at the Scratch conference in Amsterdam oh, a few months ago. Okay. We were both presenting. Yeah. And now in Finland, we are going to produce first uh, batches of uh, European version of this hardware. Cool. And uh, this uh, hardware has many methodolo methodological stuff, uh -huh. like program for, for example, kids clubs. Um, like Coder Dojo? Uh, yes. Yeah. And uh, we do this in Russia and we have our own robot clubs in Russia. Yeah. And uh, we make franchise program for this. And we're going to do all this stuff uh, worldwide. And we're looking for partners and we look for community members as all this stuff is open source. And we also make uh, first steps on making adaptation of block language to control all these things. And in our GitHub you can find uh, source code for Scratch and source code for Blockly. And, um, and what's your GitHub account name? Scratch Duino. You know? Yeah. Scratch Duino. Yes. Scratch Duino on GitHub. Yes. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah.